Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Tova Tech 1050 torch. So this is from their Fusion range. Um, this is their good sort of entry level, uh, sort of clear water, uh, sort of night dive type torch. Um, this obviously is the box that it comes in. Uh, you get a nice one of these sort of semi-rigid cases to, uh, to keep it all organized and keep it safe, uh, as well as to sort of travel and store it. Inside the case, I'm just gonna show you everything that you get with it. Uh, obviously, there's the torch itself. I'll show you that in a second. Um, we get a couple battery uh, sort of options for you. The first one is this cradle. Um, so that will take three AAA sized batteries. Um, AAA pretty easy to get hold of in most places nowadays, but it also comes with a rechargeable, I think this is an 18650 battery, um, which it is. Uh, lithium ion comes with it as standard. I'm just gonna take that little protector off so, um, so you can see what it looks like when it's switched on and obviously you get a charging cradle with it so you can recharge the torch uh, wherever you like. Also get a pair of spare o-rings. Uh, you don't have to fit these anywhere. A lot of people think that uh, you have to fit them when you first get it. They're just replacement ones. When the ones here start to wear out and look a little bit ropey, you can swap them over. So keep them nice and safe and keep them in the bag as well because the, the ozone can damage them. Uh, you get a lanyard loop, um, so you can attach that onto the base of the torch and then put that around your wrist so you don't lose your torch. You get a USB charging cable, uh, so plug that into the cradle and, um, and that's how you're going to um, sort of power this separate torch. Uh, and you also get an instruction manual on how to use the torch. Okay, so we're gonna move all of that to one side. We're just gonna look at the torch. Um, so the torch itself is made out of anodized aluminium, which makes it lightweight, um, pretty tough still, uh, but also corrosion resistant. But what they have done is they've given it this kind of velvety finish to it. So instead of feeling slippery, like um, sort of some metal torches do, this one gives you a little bit of grip and uh, it feels a bit plasticky, but it's actually made out of metal. Now, the big selling point, the sort of USP of this torch is that you can adjust the beam angle really quickly by adjusting this head section. So it can go from a really tight spotlight, about 12 degrees, to a sort of wide angle flood of about 100 degrees. Uh, and you can change that power setting. So you can go from full beam to middle and then low beam. So getting into the torch, if I unscrew the back section, uh, we're gonna see those two O-rings that, um, that we were, uh, we were talking about earlier. And uh, it's very important to keep these clean. So these are the two O-rings in this kind of back section. Make sure every time you take this battery out, you uh, make sure they're really clean. They've got a very light uh, sort of greasing to them. There's no lint or sort of sand or dust or anything on them because that can uh, sort of affect the seal and, um, and sort of allow water to get in. So make sure they're always nice and clean. The battery uh, goes in positive side first and then screw that down. Make sure you don't cross thread it obviously and screw it in until it stops. Okay, so you have battery, uh, not a battery, a button to switch it on and off. Uh, so press it once and that switches it on. Uh, press it again and it kind of dims it. So right now it's in sort of wide angle which is pretty good. Uh, it's not like photo video like quality, but it's gonna illuminate the entire scene. So this is quite nice on a night dive. Uh, you can kind of illuminate everything. Uh, but then if you wanna focus on one thing in particular or communicate to your friends, you just pull the head outwards. And as you can see, it focuses it into a tighter spotlight. So this is 1,050 lumens at, uh, at full power, and then you can sort of dial it down um, because I just find 1,000 lumens is, tends to be quite a lot for a night dive, so I tend to uh, use the lower power settings. Um, and around the button, if you can see here, um, this kind of opaque plastic around the side, it's color coded so that um, that's just a battery level indicator and uh, it's just a traffic light system. So if everything is green, it's fine. Uh, as you kind of run down battery, uh, it goes to amber and then red. 
So a decent sized torch, um, this is about the right size for a primary torch that I tend to um, go for. It's very customizable because you've got, you don't have to choose between a spotlight and a floodlight, you have both of them in one torch and you can control the, uh, the power settings and that rechargeable battery is definitely a selling point for me um, because you can charge it from a, a USB port. So most of your smartphones and your tablets, they're all powered from the same sort of USB port, that way you only have to be one of you if you're going away on holiday. So a nice little torch, decent size, decent power settings and customizable. Um, it's, it's a no-brainer for me, it's a good torch. This is the Tovatech Fusion 1050. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to see the latest scuba kit reviews. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.